Hello, Stationers, and welcome back to another Micro Minute. Today, we are going to be working on the basic furnace. This has actually been a request, uh, so I figured I might as well just pop it up. So, we're going to be working on only smelting ores um, into your alloys today. We're not going to be working on gas collection. This is just going to be basic, so I'm just getting to get in my little pressure room here. You don't need one of these, I just am doing it for the tutorial so it's easier to see. So, first thing you're going to want is your basic furnace. Not an arc furnace, just normal furnace. Um, and we're going to be starting off today by making steel, which will be the most basic alloy that you will need. But first, we need to set the furnace up to use. So the first thing that we're going to need is to grab some pipes, and you're going to want some valves. So you're going to go back here, you got your input and your output. Your input is for inserting fuel into, so that you can get the furnace powered without having to put ice into it. But for just basic starting out, this will be fair enough. So pop on a pipe, throw on a valve so you can close up the system. You don't want pressure or temperature to release from your furnace. And then you just want to throw some pipes on after, give yourself a bit of a network. And then we'll just throw a cowl on at the end. So this way you can bleed off your pressure and your temperature of the furnace when you're done. When you go to smelt, always make sure that your pipe network is closed. Otherwise you will not be able to maintain pressure or temperature. Um, and there, that's literally your basic super setup. You don't need power or data to the furnace. It can just float there, attach your pipes with a bleed out system and a closed valve. So the first net we're gonna be starting off today will be steel. This will be, again, your most basic uh, alloy that we can be making. So we're going to head down to Furnace, Tier 1, Temperature, 900 Kelvin to 100,000 Kelvin. And your pressure is 1 MPa to 100 MPa. So you need a bit of pressure, a bit of temperature, not much to manage since it's such a high range. So we'll just start off by throwing in our oxide and our volatiles. So the best fuel ratios is you're going to want two volatiles to, or four volatiles to two oxide. So two to one ratio. So we'll take our four, bam, pop them in, melt it. Don't do this during the daytime. Uh, the ice will melt in your hand. So either come into a pressurized area like this or just do it at nighttime, which is the simplest thing for me. I'll just melt all my ores at nighttime. So melt them all down. You'll see your pressure and your temperature pop up. Bam. So you're going to want to start inserting your ores. So we'll start with, it doesn't matter if you start with the iron or the coal first. You'll see that as it's processing the iron, it's going to produce the ingot. It's because we're in the right range to make the ingots, which are very easy to make. As long as you have some pressure and temperature, you can make most basic ingots super easily um, so there 150 we'll pop in our coal so our hydrocarbon you'll see three to one and it'll pop out 200 grams of steel because we are in between the pressure and the temperature range so we'll pop it out open up the mold to get your steel and close it up so there now you've got your 200 grams of steel the next thing that we're going to work on is electric because we need to do a little bit of furnace management to do it if you want to do all of your ores all at once. So instead of having to bleed it off right away, you can see we're not in danger. Melting ores will increase your pressure and decrease your temperature. So right now you can see 12.2, 1.04. We'll drop in the gold so it's going to melt it down. Increase your pressure, decrease your temperature. You always want to keep that in mind if you want to set your furnace just below where you need for pressure because as you add in those ores your pressure will increase so there you'll see now we're at a 13.2 and about 950k so for our electrum you'll see that our temperature is fine but the oh no sorry we're still on steel here we go my apologies. So you'll see that our temperature right now is fine. It's between the 60 or the 600 Kelvin to 100,000 Kelvin. So temperature isn't much of an issue when it comes to electrum, but it's the pressure. You need 800 kilopascals to 2.4 megapascals. So we're going to have to bleed off a good 10 MPa. So come back here, open it up. I'm in a 
uh, depressurize your room, so I I'm not worrying too, too much about it. So we'll come over here, keep an eye on your pressure. Once you get to about 2.5, 2.6 MPA, you're going to want to run back and shut that valve. Temperature, we don't have to worry too much because as you can see, it's 800 kPa. I doubt it's going to drop below 800 by the time our pressure drops enough. But in case it does, just throw in two volatile, one oxide. This way you're simulating just a little bit. You may increase your pressure, just bleed off the pressure, but your temperature will stay up for a while. Now while we're going through this, if you want, you can even plan your ore smelts. So you could start off with your steel, and then you could go up to your high pressure ores, smelt all of your high pressure ones, and then you could bleed it off, start working on your lower pressure ones. This way you're not really wasting any time. Once you start getting into the advanced furnace, things are gonna be changing up for you, but this is the easiest way for you to get your alloys right off the bat. As long as you're managing it, just being a little meticulous about it, you should be able to get the alloy that you need almost every time. Okay, so we're nearing our threshold here. So again, 800 to 2.4. Let's about go back now. Once you close that valve, you basically cut off any fluctuations. So you'll see here now that we're in the right pressure range, we're in the right temperature range, so you'll see we'll produce 100 ingots of electric. And that's all that there is to it. It's as simple as that, just managing your pressure, managing your temperature for each of your alloys. Always check your station PDF for what you need. And um, yeah, when you are done with the furnace, always, always bleed it out. If you let your pressure and your temperature build up there for too long, it will stress it out. If it gets too cold, it'll create condensation and burst the pipes. There's a number of things that could happen. It's best just to bleed off your furnace when you're done with it. And I hope that helped you guys to get your basic alloys. It should be super quick and super simple. Set up a furnace almost as soon as you can, and you can even smelt large quantities of any ore. So you could get 500 iron ingots coming right out here rather than having to wait, you know, 50 at a time for the arc furnace. Well, have a good night, stationers. I hope this helped with any questions that you had. Any more questions that you might have, you can drop them in the comment section, and please drop a like on the video. Thank you very much.